Well, welcome everybody. This is Kim Evans and I have a very special guest today. So for those of you who do not know, this is the podcast show Inspired Conversations where amazing conversations happen. I'm Kim Evans. I am a business and wellness coach. I'm also the proud owner of Two Gorgeous Integrated Health and Wellness of 26 years. So today, as we kick off, y'all all all know my birthday month in July, one of the most beautiful guests, and we are going to have an amazing show. We have actress today on the show, Ms. Braley Evans. Braley, thank you for saying yes to be a guest on my show. There was no way I was not saying yes to a another Kim Evans okay Kim Evans meet Kim <laughs> Evans and what's so beautiful about this is we both share the same name Kim Evans <laughs> yep everybody's like what well my entire first name is Kim Braley so growing up um everyone called me Kim post college everyone called me Braley so uh, my college roommates started calling me Braley and that just stuck and then I went by Braley in uh, that, you know, after college time. So Kim Evans is who I grew up. So when I saw your name on here and my mom was talking about you, there was no way I was not coming on here. So thank you for having me. I love it. Kim Evans. Oh my goodness. Right. The Kim Evans and the Kim Evans. (laughs) Well, Ms. Braley, I always love to start my show, sending out a blessing to my guests and viewers. I hope that's okay with you. That's perfect. All right. Yes, I just want to first, we are going to invite the Holy One in. God, we just welcome you to have full reign on this podcast show. And God, we are praying right now that the words that will come from this show will go as far as the east, as far as the north, as far as the west, as far as the south. And everyone that is listening to the words of this podcast show will be illuminated, inspired, lifted up, transformed, and will always be different. God, we want to thank this gift, this living vessel right now, Kim Braley, the actress. Lord, may she do amazing things around the world that you have predestined before she came here on this earth. And she is making her mark. And God, we just thank you for her gifts and her talents and the gems that she's going to drop. God, I thank you for my voice because without you, I am nothing. And thank you, Lord, for reigning in this show. Ms. Braley, oh my goodness. Can I read your bio? Can I read your bio, please? Please go right ahead. All right, let me give you, let me give you, let me let me give Miss Braley her accolades. Braley Evans is a beautiful, multi-talented native from Oakland, California, Old Town Bay area. Because hey. Kim Evans too was also born in Oakland. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be so amazing. She's an actress, vocalist, voiceover talent, and a philanthropist. And we are going to talk about Braley, the businesswoman in this show. Whether Braley is making you cry in a drama, laugh in comedy, or challenging you intellectually through her thought-provoking podcast interviews, she finds time to be a keynote speaker and being a curvy girl and unapologetically unique. Miss Braley has served as an ambassador for seven national brands. I loved you when you were on Jenny Craig, girl. We got to talk about that. Oh, yeah. the hit CBS, Neighborhood. These are some of the things. Uh, the Neighborhood invited Braley around to ca- Outcasts to season's final uh, finale show alongside Trisha Arnold and Cedric the Entertainer as a director. She is in a current series regular on BET's hot new series, The Family Business. Whoa. And All Black, formerly UMC for the love of Jason. In the stage play, two can play that game and we know we all have watched the movie. Braley quickly became a fun fan. Recognized for her ability to captivate an audience, she was cast opposite of Queen Latifah in the 20th Century Fox Just Right, one of my favorite movies. Oh, you know, you gotta get to that. Oh, oh, her comedic timing resulted in the expansion of her role from co-worker one to Sabrina Giller. It was the same power-packed persona that afforded her an opportunity to work 
with the late Whitney Houston in the sunny feature mm -hmm. film Sparkle. Oh my God, oh my God. This woman, I am so excited. I am so excited of what you are Yay. doing. So Ms. Braley, take it Thank away, you. take it away. Take it away. And First I of all, sometimes when people read my bio, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I did that. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm still, you know, in awe of some of the things God has allowed me to do. Yes. And, I, and it, it, you just took me back down memory lane. And I was just like, yeah, I'm so grateful to be used in all of those projects, like, yes. and with those incredible people that I'm a fan of. So, yes. yeah. Yes. So what I'd like to ask you is, one, how did you get started as an actress? How did you get started in acting? I always love to tell people the true E Hollywood story of I never intended to be an actress at all. Oh, my a gifting is in music and I love to sing. And um, I knew I was going to be a singing star from a child. That's all I ever talked about was being a singer, being a singer. And my parents would say, what's your real job going to be? And I'd be like, a singer, well, an entertainer. And they'd be like, and then where will you go to work? And I'm like, on stage? Because <laughs> I, I had no other plans for my life. And so I encourage every parent that's listening, your kid, five, four, six years old, they know what they want. They know who they are and um, help cultivate that. Help cultivate that. You'll be surprised. We come to this earth already knowing our purpose and who we are and, um, I completely was on my path very early in life um, because I just knew that I was supposed to be in front of people. Now the acting of it all, that kind of, um, the singing transformed into that because someone saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And he said, oh no, you're an actor. Let me introduce you to my agent. And when that happened, it was like, that was the only job I got that I kept, I've been acting for longer than I've ever held a regular nine to five job. What that tells me is um, I was born for this and that um, nine to five job was just not for me. I could not keep a job. I would, I would work a year, maybe a year and a half, barely two years. I never had one job for more than two years. I would always get fired or I'll be so bored I'd quit. It would always be something, but this is the longest opportunity that I've turned over year after year and it's been the most fulfilling faith walk that I could have ever you know that I could have ever taken on so that's another encourage point for those who are listening mm -hmm. um stop doing what's easy what looks easy people say oh acting is hard how do you do it and I said because I call it easy mm -hmm. and I have what I say mm -hmm. so um learning that what you say about what you want to do, uh, that's what you see. So if you say it's hard, then for you, it will be hard. So hard. But if you say it's easy, for you, it will be easy. I love it. I love it. So which one was, when you look at all, but before I get to that question, which one was your first movie that you started? So the very first film that I was in was Just Right with Queen Latifah. Okay. Um, that was, well, well, the truth is that's the first one you guys saw, but the way it went chronologically, I was in a movie called, um, Cookout 2, mm -hmm. uh, and Queen Latifah's production company, Flavor Unit, was producing that, and I got a call from her manager, Shaq Kim, and said, we really like how you handled yourself on set, we have something else for you, you know, and I was thinking, huh? You know, I didn't even know what I was doing, but so Just Right was the first like really big film that I was in that you guys would, you know, be aware of. And I abso absolutely love it. Let me share with the audience some of the, some of the people who may not uh, be familiar with you, but they're going to be familiar with you after this podcast show. Come that on. <laughs> some of your television appearances includes BET Mary Jane, Man and Wife, Last Call, uh, the hit soap drama Ambitions. Oh, good Lord Jesus. I'm watching Ambition. Now, you know, I don't have really watched a lot of cable, but I just actually got, I do TV. It's huge in my living room. I love it. And I am watching Ambitions. Oh, okay. Yes, we are on Oh, my goodness. Now. 
beautiful on Oprah Winfrey's network, but also you also, um, so you also started in, and you also have done a lot of NAACP theater award. You got the best supporting actress. Um, yes. So when you look at all of your accolades, what do you tell yourself? I mean, what do you say to yourself to just like, are you pinching yourself? Just like, wow, I am making it. I am doing it. I'm speaking my vision and it's coming to fruition. How does that make you feel? I mean, again, I, I really don't focus on the accolades, to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm surprised at what I've done. Every time I have an interview or someone reads my bio aloud, because mm -hmm. I don't read the bio, I'm always wowed at, okay, girl, you are really doing this thing. Like, I really feel like I'm just an ordinary girl doing extraordinary things. Mm -hmm. Like, so each one of them wows me. And I'm like, whew, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe I'm in this room. Whoo, I'm at this table. So I'm really surprised each time something turns over. And again, I don't relish in it, like I said, until somebody reads the bio and I'm like, oh yeah. So right now I'm feeling like I'm on a high and I'm blessed and I'm highly favored because of what you have just read, because I literally <laughs> don't think of it. I really don't like you. I go, I do the work and then it's gone. I'm off to the next. Like, yeah, I, I don't even look back. Wow. Well, it's good to have these kinds of reflections so that you can see the work yes. that God has given you. And then you can, because, you know, it's good. We have to have moments of reflection because the deeper we go in our reflections, the greater that we know we love him. And that's what's so yes. good. And if we continue to move forward and forward and forward and forward and forward, we kind of forget like, where has he taken us from? So to stop and go, who saw? And to say, wow, I did that. He brought us here. Oh my God, I did this. It's incredible. Just makes the love for us to just want him more and more and more. Yes, I would agree with that. And I also would agree that um, I do like to encourage people to keep their eyes forward because sometimes what happens when you look at what you've done, you get complacent and yeah. you feel like you've made it or you've done it. And really life, this journey is such a journey that I, I want to um, always be, feel a new, you yeah. know what I mean? I always want to feel like this, this, I always, I, like, I don't feel like a seasoned actor. Yeah. I actually feel like a newbie. You know, every time I step on a set, I feel like, ooh, I'm the new booty on here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I feel like I made it. Like, so um, I yeah. enjoy keeping my eyes forward because there's just something to me that is like, um, you know, when Peter got out of the boat and, and Jesus said, come, it was like he couldn't look back. He couldn't look at the other disciples and say, should I go? What yeah. y'all think? Well, let me see what I've done before to, to validate what I'm going ahead to do. I, I like the, the vision of keeping my blinders on forward and keeping Jesus in my view so that I can continue to do the impossible. Like, you know, we're not, we're not born to quote unquote walk on water, but mm -hmm. if we keep our eyes on Christ, we do those impossible, which really means I'm possible things. Yeah. So that's kind of like my heart where that uh, kind of not looking back thing is. Yes, I'm grateful. I stay in a, a place of gratitude, but I'm also always living anew mm -hmm. in a fresh and, you know, just a mercy to mercy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, what, what we doing this week, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yes, completely grateful, but definitely focused on, um, you know, what can God blow my mind with this week? Yes. I think that's a fascinating yeah. way to look at life and to look at our yeah. work. I think it's just, it's incredible when we do have those kinds of insights. I wanted to also just mention really quickly before we get to the next piece here of our podcast show, I really loved you too in your Christmas movies. They were wonderful. Oh. Through the holiday, it was like, oh my God, when your mom told me you had that one coming out, it's like, and then the man in 3B was awesome. So I just had to give you a little, I had to give you some echoes. Yay, I'm so this glad you enjoyed great. those movies. Yes. You know, it is my, my, um, something I've put in front of me is I would like to give you all something every Christmas. Yes. So that is what I am asking everyone around me. I'm like, how do I do that every Christmas? I want to give you guys an offering, be it music, be it 
Mm -hmm. a movie, something. I really, that that is what I'm looking forward to do. So I have already shot something for you all. And so now we are just waiting for God to give us a green light and so I can tell you guys what station to watch it on. So there is something for 2022 coming. Okay, yeah. everybody, make sure you follow Rayleigh really on her Instagram channel because yeah. you know what's hot and popping that's coming out. I am excited about that. Let me Instagram just, and TikTok. And TikTok. Okay, Instagram <laughs> and TikTok. And I'm going to leave all yeah. that information in the show notes as well. So let me ask you, Rayleigh, really, have you done an international? You're going to be doing more international movies? What's your next question? Yes. What's, what's coming down? Okay, so see, that's one of those things, Kim, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't know to ask God to be an international actress. I just thought being an actress here in the United States was the ask, right? So as as I keep my blinders on, God's showing me things. I'm like, I didn't even know to ask for that. Like when the Bible says he will give you more than you can ask for, this whole international leg of my career is something is more than I asked for. I have, um, in 2015, I went to Botswana and I was uh, afforded the opportunity to teach acting to children, teens, and adults. And, and that year, I remember putting on every, at the top of the year, I do these water walker wheels with, um, with my followers. And I put on mine that I wanted to speak internationally three times. I thought being a, you know, like a, a keynote speaker is what I was thinking. And so I was like, when I got to, I was like, God, I went back over. I said, now I always said that I wanted to do. And then my friend said, Braley, you did. You literally spoke to the children, the teens, and the adults. Those were the three times. I said, oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. My friend had to like, she had to like, uh, Raina Joy, Raina, I love you. And she said, look, you, you said, God, I want to speak internationally three times. You did not say speak th- three different places. You didn't say, you weren't specific enough. So if you look at it, you actually got what you asked for. So this is where specific prayers come in, guys. Like, although I am extremely happy with that. So then internationally, the second time was I was called upon to be in a movie called Single Not Searching. That has yet to come out. So guys, get ready for that. It is an amazing film um, that I shot in uh, Ghana. I was in Ghana for 36 days during the pandemic. Let me tell you guys, God will keep you. Even my mom was like, oh, my, my, my brother's face keeps popping up on the screen. That's my brother, y'all. <laughs> it's so funny. But anyway, um, it, my, uh, when I got called for that, my mom was like, you're going to go to Africa right now? And I was like, with the grace of God, I can go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, I can go anywhere. So I went to Ghana, did that. And most recently, just last month, I was in St. Martin shooting another film. So this international wow. leg of my career is growing exponentially fast. And I am now, I can call myself an international movie star. Oh ah! I love it! <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh right. my God. I don't even want to ask for God for that. Who, that was never oh, in my prayers my more than what we can ask okay <sighs> like my passport is stamped and i'm loving it, it is and it is going to continuously to be stamped and on that note staying quenched in my quest for life how do you stay quenched in your quest for life explain that for me. How? oh Share. first Share. of all I, the I, first of all, that is a quote from um, my wonderful book, yes. The ABCs of I Am, yes. and that is in the Q section. Um, yes. The Quench Quest is a wonderful um, virtual workshop retreat given by Christina Johnson. And you guys, please look her up. It is going on right now. You have to get your ticket to this. It starts next month. Um, but please uh, look up Christina Johnson okay. for the quench quest. So when I think of being quenched in my quest, I think of being satisfied, being uh, con- content with you know what I have and being grateful. Um, and at, when I hear the title, I also get excited because I'm wearing my good girlfriend, Tabitha Brown, jumpsuit and her son 
who I actually gave the baby shower for because we're really good friends. His name is Quest. And so <laughs> isn't that so, so when you when you said the title, it means so much to me because it encapsulates both Christina Johnson and Tabitha Brown. And for me, it's about being grateful. That's it. That, that's when you're when your thirst for what you want out of life is quenched. You're just simply living in gratitude. You're just like, you know what, Lord, even when my eyes opened this morning, I was like, thank you, Lord, for another day. Like it's another opportunity to uh, inspire, another opportunity to um, be clear on the things I want, another opportunity to, um, you know, let these dreams come true and remind people that dreams are, you have those dreams on purpose. Like Absolutely. they're real and they're wanting you just as much as you're wanting them. So that's what uh, being quenched in my quest for life is all about for me is remaining grateful and always ready for that quest, that new journey that I keep my eyes um, focused on. I love it. And on that note, yeah. as, we, as we look at Ms. Braley, the businesswoman. I was so Yay. excited to get this book. I got this book ah, and you sent it to me you. Israeli as a gift. And yes. the book is also in my Amazon store. So I'm going to put it in the link below. Everyone, please go out and get this book. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's mm -hmm. I Am's A Daily Guide for Speaking Prosperity love success into your life the abcs of i am's by braley evans this is beautiful and what i love about this and thank you for signing it by the way hey. um, <laughs> and i love she says dream big and speak bigger but i would like to just share a little bit in here is the acknowledgement and i thought this was so wonderful if i may share this um Please. you say in here I've come to realize that nothing I do is complete origination of myself, but it's a collective of experiences and my loved ones who are all around me. I'd like to acknowledge a few people and you go into your acknowledgement. And what I loved about this, in addition to acknowledging, of course, who birthed you, your mom and your dad that gave you life and beautiful, your uh, family, but it's introducing me because they introduce you to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's so beautiful when you can actually dedicate a book to God. And I says, wait a minute, we are already starting off on a, a masterpiece here. And so what made you write this book? You would never believe that I never, first of all, English was not my favorite subject in, okay. <laughs> in school. So I never thought that I would write anything because I'm not that girl. But God put it on my heart and he kept nagging me about it. I really felt like nudged and nudged and nudged. And I was like, literally, so one day I was so nudged that I sat down at a desk, got out a blank piece of paper and said, God, write the book then, because I don't know what you're talking about. And I sat there quiet and I heard ABCs. So I wrote down ABC on blank piece of paper. And I said, what does that mean? It was like ABCs of I am. And I was like, ABCs and I wrote of I am. And I was like, what is it? And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, you want me to do I am? Oh, because I was on my Instagram getting up in the mornings doing these uh, I am, you know, speaking I am's on my Instagram. And people kept saying, where can I, where, where, where are you reading these from? But I was just saying them off the top of my head. So I was like, I'm not reading them. And they said, but we want to read them. And so it was like their nudge to, have something to read and then God and I was like well Lord the alphabet is what 26 letters that's not a book like that doesn't make sense that's not even enough pages and he was like five it was so clear five mm -hmm. words to each letter and I was like oh now we now we in you know book kind of you know and then I heard and give them a scripture to stand on with each I am so with each I am in the book you have a scripture, a foundational scripture that goes along with it. So you don't, you're not just speaking an I am out of nowhere. You're speaking an I am with the word of God there for you to know that what you say must come true because we cannot speak and, and have God looking crazy that it, it doesn't come to fruition, right? So he gave me, so we went through, I went through the Bible, my team and I, and we lined up every I am with a scripture in the Bible so that it was firm. 
so that it was true, so that it was, you know, that it has no choice but to be what you say. And as we know, we have the power of life and death in our tongue. And so at the top of the page, each page, it says, you know, say it out loud. Like we are moving around every mole molecule in the room when we speak. Like if you put your hand in front of your face when you speak like this, yeah. you'll feel air coming out of your mouth. That air is pushing around everything and is boomeranging exactly what you said right back to your life. So that gets back to me saying earlier, you have what you say. Like I had been saying since I was three, four or five years old, that I was going to be a star, an entertainer, this. And my parents were like, where are you going to work? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know that part. I just know I'm going to be a star. And they were like, this girl, where who she thinks she is? And lo and behold, here we are. And I believe that it's just having what you say. And you know what I love about, uh, really, what you say in your book here? Um, it's, it's, it's exciting. You create the day before you even begin. And... Um, you say in here, and I'm just going to read this, Braley Evans presents the ABCs of I am so that you can declare from your mouth positive affirmations that will speak to the very death of your soul on a daily basis. We need to do this every day. And turbo every day is going on right now. You have to speak the word of God over your life in every day. What one declares from his mouth can change the dynamic of any situation and perception. You have the choice to speak death or to speak life. And in this book, you show us how to do that very easily very easily wow. yeah it's 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 a simple book it's really written for anybody who can read like if you from six years old to uh, what i like to say is from preschool to phd this book is for you uh, literally and i said well lord this a little is it remedial because it's really just simple and then i i have a place in the book where you can write your what god is speaking to you in there and god said yes because guess what even those PhDs started with their ABC. Absolutely. Like he, every ob objection that I had to this process, he gave me a solution. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. It. So it I was mean, really, yeah. I, as a matter of fact, I, I actually teach um, a wellness program, uh, middle schools and high schools, actually, and right before COVID, they had to shut it down. And I wish I would have had this book because I always gift a gift to my girls at the end. Nice. Um, I had gifted them all Michelle Obama's book when we had closed it before. Nice. But when I actually start again, I'm going to make sure to give them this book. I just wanted to oh, just quickly you. share with the audience, the visuals, and that's actually in the book. Um, some of the things that you say here, you say, I am abundant. Being abundant reminds us that we lack nothing, that everything is available to us, that we can move forward without the fear of not having enough. And that's beautiful. So you put I am, and then there's a segment where you force to write. So let me share one thing that I wrote on one of my pages. Come on! So, so what I said, and we're going to get into this in the next one, I am a water walker. There is nothing lacking, broken, or missing from my life. My life is complete in God, and every opportunity combines as is finding me to be joined to it. I'm like, oh my God, this is exciting. Say it. I am amazing. And being amazing reflects your talents and your personality, what you bring to the world when you wake up every day. Let's face it, you are amazing. And so then I write, I am amazing, facing forward. And it's so interesting that you said that you like to always face forward. And I wrote in here, I face forward. You wrote that. Day. I face forward. I face forward. I face forward every day to all new glorious opportunities and alliances Thank that you. align themselves for my good. Braley, talk about that. Do you know yeah. that was just, that was my confirmation. <laughs> see, see, when I say things in the spirit, I know that it is in the spirit. And, and it confirms it with you because you wrote it before this interview. I just wrote it. Yeah. I, I, I'm like, oh, I have it right here. I face forward. Wow. This is so good. Braley, what That's is good. a water walker? What's a water walker? Honey, a water walker <laughs> is one that, that chooses to do the impossible. Like when something comes in front of you, whatever it may be in your career, in your health, in your relationships, whatever that thing is, you call yourself a water walker and then you get out of the boat and you begin to walk towards Christ and you may feel like you're sinking, 
The best part of the story about Peter getting out of that boat is he never drowned. He never drowned. And if we could just stay right there, it doesn't matter what you get out the boat to do, you will never drown. It will always be a lesson. It will always be a fail forward if, if you do fail. But the forwardness of that fail will cause you to win later. Everything is always working out for you in every arena of your life. So we have to keep walking. Water walkers don't run. See, when people say, oh, I'm chasing my dreams, I stop them lovingly and say, no, no need to chase because your dream is not running away from you. So there's no need to chase it. But it's all in your, our language. It's in your mouth. But if you're walking towards it, it is also walking towards you. Yeah, we, it's, it's simple language shifts that has caused me to experience this level of career that I've experienced. And I, it's been all in my mouth. There's nothing more special about me than anybody else. I have just said, I'm going to do this thing God's way. And I'm going to use what I know to get it done. Because, mm. you know, I don't know any huge famous people to put me on, but God has put me on. And mm. he, I know he had it that way because he knows my sense of loyalty. And he knew that I would be bowing down to whoever you know, introduced me to the world forever. So he said, well, then I'm gonna do it because then you'll talk about me. I love it. That's, that's where we are. So is that how you came up with the name of um, naming your company Water Walkers? It is. I was actually in the hospital mm -hmm. uh, getting my uh, gallbladder removed mm -hmm. and I kept hearing Water Walkers. Water, and I was like, well, what is that? I was like, I don't know what a water walk, what is that? So then I started to scour my Bible to think, well, well let me read that walk. I knew about the walk on water that I, I, and it just stuck with me, water walk. Water walk. So it seems like as soon as I got out of the hospital, um, I was gung-ho to get to work. And I had, didn't have an incorporation at the time. And I met with an attorney who said, oh no, you shouldn't get an incorporate. You shouldn't be incorporated until you're making at least six figures. So you're not quite ready yet. Just, you know, when that time comes, then you get incorporated. Well, see, when someone tells me I can't do something, <laughs> I get excited. So I was like, okay. And I really went to like 1-800-COMPANY or something like that. And I registered my company. And I remember calling my sister Tara. And I said, Tara, I'm going to call the, my company Water Walkers because I kept hearing it when I was in the hospital. And she was like, Water Walkers. And I was like, yeah, but is it going to be Water Walkers Group or Water Walkers, uh, uh, you know, I just didn't know what partners, Water Walker, you know, some kind of tag name. And when she said, worldwide, because then the acronym will be like WWW, like the internet. And I said, oh, I like that. Do you understand that just now I'm realizing that I put this whole international thing in motion back in 2012 when I opened this company? Wow. I called my company Water Walkers Worldwide Incorporated. Wow. I was already wow. speaking you international speaking back then. And that, so I really can't be that surprised to having this international leg of my business because I named the business worldwide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like, so I'm telling you guys, you have what you say. So be careful what you're saying about yourself. Be very specific because what you say, it, again, when you name your company Death Row, we also know what happens with that. When you, when you say, um, I live by the gun, die by the gun in yeah. your rap song, we also know what happens with that. Yeah. So we have evidence in our world of our Tupacs and Biggies and people that, I mean, everyday people look in your life, your aunties and uncles and mamas and daddies and everybody, they are living what they say. Yeah. If they say they ain't got it, they ain't got it. Yeah. Cause they, they said they ain't got it. So yeah. it, it, we have evidence all around us. And I just want uh, to impact people to remember your words are creating your reality. Yes. Yes, indeed, indeed. Um, mm -hmm. Which of the I am's is your favorite in your book? Oh, I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite. It is hard to pick. Is a there favorite. one that stands that you stand on more than the other day and night? 
that comes to uh, day and night. I the um the one that says I am abundant. I think I stand mm-hmm. on that day and night mm-hmm. because I just um refuse to let money be a reason for things. Mm-hmm. Um, now I am like you know I do make things sometimes make sense, but for the most part, if I want it, I got it. If I, I need it. it, I got it. Like that's just it. I'm not going to. Um, I I don't spare anything with myself. Mm -hmm. Like if if I truly want it in my gut, then I'm, I'm going to do it period. And that's just it. I don't care how much it costs, who says I can or cannot like it's no, it's going to happen. Yeah. I I like the one that resonates to me that I uh, enjoy the most. I am motivated and um, it speaks to that I've been in business for 26 years. So I got to be doggone motivated to be in business for 26 years. Yes. And I love that I am, uh, that I am a conqueror. Come on. That's, There's that's so many of them. That's favorite. why I was like, I mean, I am kissable. Is <laughs> another it. one in the book. And so I want people to, when they read that, they might be like, oh my God. But yes, <laughs> you are, you are kissable. Like I want you to, to know that when you look at yourself, in the mirror, you are beautiful and you are desirable and you are, you know, all the things that you wish for someone else to say about you, say them about yourself first. And I bet you just around that corner, there's someone who, who's going to validate what you said. And, and, and Braylee, that is just so amazing. We do need the validation. And, mm-hmm. and, and it, it starts from our mouths. It starts from within. That's really where the validation starts. Wow, your journey of your life is just unfolding and it's, uh, it's just, it's getting better. And I'm so excited what God has for you uh, to come. What motivates you? Wanted to know really, when you really deep down and you sit down, it's like holding on to your motivation. What motivates you and who's one of your greatest mentors? Um, what motivates me the most is seeing other people win. Mm-hmm. Um, because I am a true believer that God is not a respecter of person. So I go, oh, that's what Jesus is doing right now. He can do the same for me. So okay. that kind of thing motivates me. And um, my mentors span from those who are still living and those who have passed on. Um, I listen daily to uh, Miles Monroe, to yes. uh, Abraham Hicks. Yes. to um, uh, Bob Proctor, to, um, I mean, uh, the list goes on. I have a, a um, eclectic uh, listening and studying. I listen to Reverend Ike. My mm-hmm. mother said, how did you find that? And I, was, I don't know. It was, I was drawn to it, you know, and I found it on YouTube. And so I'm listening to... Um, people that understand the spiritual world is where everything starts. Like everything material started in the spiritual world first. Like it, you know what I'm saying? So it's, so a lot of times we don't pay attention to that. And God recently gave me, I know he has a couple more books in my lineup and I've kind of been like, God, I'm not really the sit down book writer type, but he's like, look, I need you to do this. So I was driving the other day and he goes, um, People are so concerned about the success of their businesses and the success of their weight loss and the success of their relationships. But I need you to get them more spiritually success driven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So spiritual success. Say that. Spiritually success driven. Say that one more time, Braley. Yes. Spiritually success driven. Your spiritual success will lend to every other area of your life to be successful. So while we focus on everything else, it is literally your spiritual success Mm -hmm. that opens the door to all of the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And he gave me that and he's like, okay, go write it. And I was like, Lord. So I think I'm saying it in this interview for the first time Mm -hmm. um, because I am convincing myself to get busy and now that I've made it in it, you know being on here makes it real right absolutely <laughs> so it makes it real it, made it, it real you have it, an imprint now in the universe I have an imprint yes. in the universe like because I what I'm saying is said. boomeranging back to my life 
So uh, prepare for a new book that's coming. Well, I'm so excited about this new book. And Braley, it's all good. This is why we have audio. This is why we have podcasts. You can have it in audio form first, speak it, and then write it. There's more. Oh, and I I just said that to someone else recently. Come on, have it in an audio first with your comedic voice and your singing. And come on, put it in audio. I like where you're going. There it is. I like where you're going. Okay, done. Done. I love it. Done, done, done. I love it. I love it. So you must share what's coming down the pipe. What's new? What's next? What's this this event that we got going on in July? Oh my, talk about it. I am so excited. Um, July 31st in Atlanta, Georgia. I am going to be hosting a Don't Date Down Brunch. And uh, those of you who know, some of you may not know, I have a new song that's out on every uh, music platform. It's called Don't Date Down. And it is talking about a relationship, but I am here to encourage people to not date down in any area of your life. Uh, Don't date down in your career choices. Don't date down in your relationship choices. Don't date down in the food you put, put in your mouth. Don't date down in the clothes you buy. Don't date down with your friendships. Like we are going to talk about that thing. We're going to eat some good food, drink a whole bunch of mimosas and have a good time. But it's going to be fantastic. And the best part about it is it is connected to Atlanta Curve Weekend. AtlantaCurveWeekend.com. You guys, that's where you want to go get your tickets for the brunch. And if you want to sponsor someone, send someone that you know in Atlanta, I encourage you to go to Atlanta curveweekend.com to get your tickets. Okay. So I have been blessed to be the celebrity ambassador for ATL Curve Weekend. Um, I did not ask to be an ambassador for the curvy world, but I was, they, they're like, no, you give us so much confidence in how you move in your curvy body and it doesn't stop you from doing anything. And we want to see more of that. And we want people to be encouraged who are our curvy women and our big men and those who love us. And we mm-hmm. wanna celebrate that. And so they have workshops, they have, um, they have panels, they have uh, a splash where we're doing a big pool party. Like, so I want every curvy girl, every big man and every person that loves us, no matter what your shape is, to come out to Atlanta Curve Weekend, go to atlanticurveweekend.com and be with us for the entire weekend and the brunch is what I'll personally be hosting for uh, the VIPs. It's going to be amazing. I have special guests coming. You never know who I'm going to have in the building. And we're going to really be setting people on a path. We're, we're in that room on that day. People will walk in one way and they will walk out different. And it's the yeah, whole it's gonna weekend. Be it's July 31st. It's, through the, it's July 29th through the 31st. So the last day is the 31st. And that's when the brunch is from 12 to three. Yeah. Wow. I am so excited. And tell us about the song. Where can people uh, listen to the audio? Everywhere. So if you have Spotify, if you have Apple Music, if whatever uh, music platform you have, if you go to YouTube, you can even listen to it there. It's called Don't Date Down. And it is such a a release. I was married for 5.32 seconds. (laughs) It was a year and a half. Uh, It was a year and a half relationship, but I learned so much in that year and a half. And I just needed to get the energy of what that relationship brought to me, like kind of off of me. And so my first love, like I said in the beginning, is music. So I found an opportunity with my brothers, Johnny and Isaac, got me in the studio. Nice. And they're like, write about it, Braley, write about it. So here we are with a song about Don't Date Down. And so a lot of people listen to the song. And they're like, yeah, don't, don't date guys who make less money than you. And don't do it. And I'm like, uh-uh-uh. And you listen to the words. It's more so I brought his energy to me. Because whatever level I was vibrating on, it brought that gentleman Come right into my world. Come so on. when I say don't date down, you got to check that mirror first Come and on. see where you're vibrating. Because if someone Come is on. coming to you without a job, using up your stuff, mm-hmm. uh, putting you down, then that I said, "Ooh, my self-esteem must have been mighty low. 
at that time that I invited that energy in. So now I'm teaching how to not date down the way I did in that relationship. I think it all goes back to your spiritual success and that opens the door to everything. And that's why you're getting ready to write that second book. And I love Come on. That, uh, don't date down. I heard the audio. It's beautiful. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And Thank I'm gonna, you. I don't know if we're going to clip it so that people can also just click that when they read the information. Oh, please. I'd but love to. But you. let's talk about that for a quick second as we end the podcast is about va- vibration. And you're dating down because, see, you are a mirror reflection inside who you are when you go out there and you so-called choosing a mate or choosing someone that you're dating. So you have to look at what are you doing? Where are you walking? Where are you going? Where is your level of your energy and your vibration? So let's talk about that. You know, how can a woman shift her vibration up so that she don't date down so that it's always she can start with saying her I am's daily. She can start with getting my book and in and, and, uh, and uplifting herself with I am beautiful. I am amazing. I am abundant. I am the one. I am kissable. I am motivated. I am maximizing every moment. I am living at my zenith. I am. So when you do that, then you've labeled yourself before you even walk out of your door. And so when the world tries to put titles on you, they just roll off like water on a duck. Because you're like, no, no, I already said who I was. You know, <laughs> I already know who I am. And so when you do that, um, it, it, you know, it's like a magnet. You become a magnet to what you're vibrating at. It's so amazing. The guys who I've had the opportunity to date here recently, I get excited because I'm looking at their lives going, oh, that must be where I am. <laughs> so it's so fun. Like, I'm like, okay, Lord, but these dates are fun, but I only need one now, Jesus. I, I don't, this dating is great, but I really am like kind of a one kind of guy type thing. So I'm looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I am looking at um, who these people are and what their lives look like. And it makes me excited to know that I've leveled up. And so if you're ever wondering where you are, I I dare you to look at the people around you because they are a clear reflection of the energy that you're projecting that you've magnetized to yourself. I love it. I love it. And I love the fact that you look at yourself first, you say, I am, and that's how you change the whole course of your vibration. And when you change the course of your vibration, you attract, you begin to level up. (laughs) That's it. That's it. Love it. That's it. Really, what an inspiration you are all around the Mulberry. Thank Book you. And more. I mean, <laughs> from vocalist to actress to businesswoman to ambassador. And so now global, world, international actress. It has to just be, whoa, you're, you're making the shift. You're doing it. Is there any last yeah. things that you would like to share to the the viewers and the listeners before we close our Um, podcast show. I just want to say thank you guys for listening. Go back, take notes, um, make sure to stay connected to Kim Evans. (laughs) This is a wonderful platform. Thank you for having me on. Um, I think what you're doing is not only telling people about Christ, but you're showing him in how you uh, you do everything in excellence. Um, Even the setup, for me to come to this was all done in excellence. And I really appreciate that. So um, I'm just looking forward to see what God is going to continue to do in your life and that I will be a, right there. Should you need me? I'm a phone call away. Thank you for what you do for my mom. I love you for that. You always, she always comes back so bright and so energized when she leaves your salon. Thank you so much. And um, I'm just grateful. I'm just glad to know that there's another Kim Evans Okay. Out in this world, make it a difference. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I love it. What's yeah. your favorite color, Brady? I love burnt orange. Burnt orange, reds, um, yellow. Yeah, those are those are my top three. I love it. And when yeah. you have an off day, and when you're done working, and you're in your abode in your living room, what's your favorite movie that you enjoy watching? Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't watch any movie over and over again, but one of my favorites is Julia and Juliet. It's a story of um, of this chef who wrote the cook uh, the cookbook called Joy. I don't know if you're familiar, um, but it's a story of having a dream mm-hmm. and feeling that you're not enough 
and then just saying, I'm going to attack this thing anyway, and then becoming at the top of your game at the end of it. Um, so it's a story about Julia Childs and a, a woman who was working a regular nine to five job who had a dream and she ended up quitting her job to live her dream and did not know how it was gonna come about, did not have one fan, but one fan turned into millions and um, her life was forever changed. So it's called Julie and Juliet and it's a great story. The, uh, I also have a, um, a brand new nonprofit organization called From Nine to Five to Wow. Whoa. And I am here to support entrepreneurs who are making the transition out of their nine to five jobs because mm -hmm. God's put something on your heart to do with your hand. All of your um, wealth is in your hand. So if you need assistance in any way to buy materials, to uh, get a consultant, to uh, anything that you may need to make that project, to pay your rent for that month, whatever, um, nine to five to wow, we are on Instagram. Please follow us, stay close because as I raise money for it, I give it right back out to those who are transitioning from their nine to five to wow, walking on water. I love it. Get it? I love it. Water walkers world. I love it. I love it. And That's on that it. note, everyone, please go out and click the link below, below and purchase Miss Braley's book, The ABCs of I Ams, so that you can start your day. I am every single day. Miss Braley, Yay. it has been a pleasure having you on Inspired Conversations. And I thank you again for saying yes to be my guest. Hey, I love it. It was amazing. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, you guys, this has been Kim Evans, actually. And if you want to get in contact with me and you want to work with me, my information is in the show notes and look out for our next podcast and always go to bent.ly KME podcast. And that's how you can find our podcast show. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you, Ms. Braley. It has been amazing. And thank you all podcast listeners and viewers for listening to Inspired Conversations podcast show. Bye for now.